and uh, several other books. Um, Jean Guy was featured on the Success Today TV show and has written hundreds of articles for international business publications and also speaks to large groups uh, of people and conventions uh, with other best-selling authors and business experts. What we're going to do though is we're just going to wait a few more minutes um, before I introduce Jean Guy and the reason being is is that the attendee list is still rising you know as I speak so uh, Oh, I see Dwayne. Uh, he's from Mississauga. Hey, Dwayne, how are you? I spoke to Dwayne earlier in the week. Um, we got some friends of ours from uh, out west of Canada, and uh, a couple of uh, a couple of visitors from all over the world. Um, you know, Jean Guy, because of his uh, world interest with Jerry Robert. Uh, he, there are there are definitely some people on here uh, from Malaysia. I can see, um, and Australia, and the United States, and uh, all across Canada. So Jean Guy uh, will be coming on in just a moment. I would uh, like to ask you guys uh, just for your patience for a few minutes and thank you for getting on and, uh, and being patient here and being early. Um, so you know what? Let's go for it. I mean, the people who are going to be late are going to miss the opening. And other than that, let's reward the people who come on time. So today. Um, we have Jean-Guy Francar, he's the co-author of Messy Manager, uh, he's written several other books. Um, Jean-Guy has been featured um, on Success Today TV and has written hundreds of articles for international business publications and also speaks to large groups and conventions with other best-selling authors and business experts, uh, predominantly Jerry Robert who is also um, a best-selling author uh, of Millionaire Mindset. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting Jean Guy to teach us some of the magic that he's got that's helped him bring uh, hundreds of businesses, you know, dozens at very least, possibly hundreds of businesses, uh, success over the last decade. So without further ado, I'm going to be uh, introducing you to Jean Guy Francoeur, tonight's feature speaker. Thanks, <laughs> Jean Guy. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. How do you? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're loud and clear, brother. You go right ahead. Excellent. Thank you. That's great. Well, how do you beat an introduction like that? I mean, now i got to live up to those <laughs> expectations, and uh, that's fantastic. Rob, If uh, for those who don't know Rob Herman, Rob is uh, the CEO and founder of Good Doggy Marketing. He's an author himself. He wrote a phenomenal book, uh, Robert Herman's Guide to Online Marketing in Toronto. He's a local author. Uh, not only a phenomenal human being, but also a real expert in his niche of online marketing. If you haven't taken advantage of getting to know Rob, uh, and uh, I know last week he offered a free consultation. I'm not sure if that's still good or not, but either way, I mean, beg him to give you that free consultation, trust me, because the guy knows what he's talking about. So, thanks, Rob. I do appreciate uh, that uh, introduction. That's fantastic. Uh, again, my name is JG. It, my name is Jean Guy, but I go by JG for short. It's just simpler for everyone. And I want to start out tonight by giving everyone a gift. How awesome is that? I released this latest book earlier this year in 2011, and it's been getting absolutely rave reviews. And I'm really proud of everything that we've accomplished, and I'm proud of the book because it's made such a big difference in people's lives, and that is awesome. Uh, these are this is what some of few people had to say. Uh, Dr. Robert Santry said the book is readable, understandable, and practical. Jeff McLeod says I couldn't stop reading it. Steve Howard in Australia says I particularly like the personal stories. That's one of the touches of the book is we have our our personal stories, my own business stories, uh, and one of the things Rob, I'm not sure if you mentioned it or not, but over the last decade I've built, sold, managed, and consulted to companies in 25 different industries. Uh, so there's a lot of personal stories about the different companies I built and, and so so on and so forth. So it's just a phenomenal book full of stories and, and actual examples of things that we've done. And Gary says, I've already recommended this book to everyone and will continue to do it every opportunity. This is a no-brainer. Just get the book and make good use. It's pure gold. So what you can do is go to MessyManager.com. You'll see uh, a form there on the right-hand side. You could just put your name an email in there and I will email you a free downloadable copy of the book. I sell the book for $32.95 because it also comes with um, tools, templates, documents, PDFs, uh, audios, videos, uh, and really uh, it's a really applicable book. I almost made it into a leadership system 
more so than just the book. So we sell for a bit more. Typically, books like this sell for $25. We sell for $32.95, but you can get it for free. Just go to that website. All right, enough with the freebies. Let me tell you what I promise. Tonight, my promise is to show you new ways to think about marketing, and, and I'm also going to give you a lead generating system. And I'm going to do that for free. You believe that? More freebies. I love it. So tonight's all about new ways to think about marketing, and I'm going to give you a lead generating system. I absolutely love this quote, and it is, the problem is never how to get new innovative thoughts into your mind, but how to get the old ones out. And D. Hawk said that from Visa. And it's really indicative of sort of the conversation we're going to have this evening because I, I know a lot of people who call me on a regular basis and I do consulting uh, all over the world. So I talk to a lot of people on an annual basis and every, everyone is still stuck in old strategies. It's like small business owners today have not adapted, not the masses anyways, they have not adapted to the new uh, types of strategies that are happening. And the, we're not, I'm not quite sure why that is, but I think it's because of what D. Hawk says. The problem is never getting new thoughts in, it's getting the old thoughts out. So I'm here today to sort of convince you and show you that the way that some of the business owners, or most small business owners are going about their marketing is really, really, um, not as effective as it could be, and they could be doing much better for themselves and for their families and for the industry and community. So there's huge opportunities out there. And I fundamentally believe, and this is something that my, my partner, uh, Jerry Robert, I'm business partners with internationally best-selling author Jerry Robert, and one of his things that he's always, and the nucleus of his message, as he calls it, is that the consumer mindset has changed. And he's absolutely right. And I thought it was so paramount that I had to put this slide, which I stole directly from his slideshow, on uh, this presentation. Because he's absolutely right. There's a fundamental, there's been a fundamental shift in the consumer mindset over the last 10, 20 plus years. I mean, you're looking, if people today are using the same strategies that they were using 5, 10, 15 years ago, Without accounting for how the consumer mindset has changed, they will never be as effective as they could be. I mean, absolutely. People are more skeptical today. They're more educated. There's more information. They have Google. I mean, just I was talking to, uh, I'm working with a new client. He's a, he's a chiropractor in the GTA. And the client was saying, and the chiropractor was saying, I asked him, I said, do your patients listen to you like they used to? And he and he said, absolutely not. He says, back, you know, a couple of years ago, you used to be able to recommend something to someone, a particular course of treatment, a particular, uh, you know, treatment plan, and they would just do it, and they would get better. Nowadays, patients go to Google, they Google their own conditions, they find out their own thing, they get opinions from all over the world, so they're much more informed. As a result, that makes them much more skeptical, and that's okay because it's a reality in the marketplace, but the problem is that business owners have not accounted for this change in their marketing. See, the old ways of marketing is a one way, it's shouting, it's mass market, it's broadcast. I mean, just look at the medias that are on this, and this, this I love this slide because it's very, very indicative of sort of the way old, old marketing happens, but you see a lot of this still going on. Think about mass telemarketing, cold calling. Think about the TV. Think about radio advertising. Think about newspaper advertising. Think about yellow pages. I was talking, my, my new chiropractic client was telling me, yellow pages used to work. It just doesn't work anymore. And that's because it's a mass media. It just goes out there. You have no idea who it's hitting. It's just getting out there. You don't know who's reading it. You don't know if it's the right kind of market. You don't even know if it's the right kind of client that you're looking for. But it, and it's one-way shouting. So I call that broadcast marketing, one-way marketing. Now that's over. People now, they got junk mail filters. You can't get your emails through. We, Rob and I talk about this on a regular basis. Email rates are going down and down and down. I've had some people tell me that their email open rates are as low as 5 and 10%. I mean, that's almost as low as unaddressed ad mail which is crazy if you think about it. Just a couple of years ago, email rates were, email open rates were really, really high. You were seeing email open rates in the tune of 50, 60, 70, 
even our email rates as a trusted source have we've seen them come down. So, uh, but you look at social media, you look at podcasts, you look at content marketing, you look at poll marketing. Those are some of the new strategies, and and there's ways that people are blocking this stuff out. If you look at broadband TV, we don't even watch commercials anymore. It's over. So, old, those are old ways of marketing. Now I know everybody on the line um, is thinking, "Phew, I'm glad I don't do any TV." Uh, because TV and, and those strategies are reserved for the massive, for the sort of the big boys and the big corporate customers. But that being said, think about the one-way advertising. Think about the one-way marketing. Think about newspaper. Think about unaddressed ad mail. Think about these things. Those are old ways of marketing. You want to go to the new ways of marketing. And the new ways of marketing is what I call push marketing versus pull marketing. And when somebody mentions either my name or my partner Jerry Roberts' name or our company, Black Card Marketing Group, they, they immediately start thinking about pull marketing because that's what we advocate. I mean, push marketing like cold calling, telemarketing, trade shows, blasts, print ads, yellow pages, radio ads, TV ads, marketing gimmicks, you know, throwing spaghetti, throwing, uh, sorry, throwing, uh, I say spaghetti, but it's, you know, throwing mud on the wall, just trying whatever. You call it spray marketing. That's also been called spray marketing. That's push marketing. You're pushing, you're shouting at your customer, and it's one way. In today's day and age, Given the consumer mindset and how it has permanently changed, permanently altered, it will never go back to the way it used to be. Now you got to listen. You got to pull them in. You have to use attraction devices. You got to use content marketing and videos and articles and podcasts and slides and RSS. You got to do blogging and social media. You got to give away free tools and free chats to build trust with your audience. You have to put in automation. I'm going to talk a lot about that today. And you got to have them coming to you. You don't want to be chasing customers. The people that are making big money in their business are not chasing customers. And I'm going to tell a little story about that after. The new model is attraction marketing. The new, it's worth repeating, the new model is attraction marketing. Now, that is an interesting concept because when you think attraction marketing, I want you to think of these lips. <laughs> These are Rob's lips. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we put, I put these lips on here because uh, my partner, Jerry Robert, wrote an article back in the day, several years ago, called Selling is Like Kissing. And the concept is that the best kissers are always leaning forward. So the idea is that as a marketer, uh, and, a, and a seller of products and services, which you all are. Every business owner is just a salesperson of a product or service to one uh, extent or another. You've got to get your prospects leaning forward. You've got, the, got to get them coming to you rather than you chasing them. And if you flip that equation around, if you really think about it, and if you wouldn't waste so much time um, chasing prospects and rather you'd have your phone ringing off the hook, with prospects calling you, you'd be thinking, wow, this is a lot funner. First of all, business would get a lot funner because it wouldn't be rejected all the time. I mean, you know, some people I hear, they say, you know, sales and businesses, you've got to have a thick skin and you really got to get used to rejection. And some people call it rejection marketing. I mean, that stuff is crazy. Business is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be freedom. So the best kisses are always leaning forward as well as the, the best prospects and the best customers are always leaning for it. So I want you to look at this model. We've presented this model to well over 3 million people. It's simple. It's very simple. Essentially, 20% of your sales, 20% of your audience will give you 80% of your sales. And I know everybody would agree, the Pareto principles. Now what most business owners are doing is they're going up the bottom of the triangle. They're going into the unknown. So if you consider the TV, you consider radio ads, if you consider the yellow pages, if you consider um, unaddressed ad mail, I mean, as much as you can segment these markets, and I know that there's market segmentation strategies, I mean, I'm very well familiar with those, but you're essentially going up the unknown marketplace because you don't know if that person is ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell. So in order to to go for the top of the triangle, the known marketplace. And if you're taking notes, and I hope you are, write this down. The top of the triangle are the people that are ready, willing, 
and able to buy what you sell. It doesn't matter if that's a widget, a service, uh, it, a car, it doesn't matter what it is you sell. Those, the people at the top are ready, willing, and able to buy what we sell. We know, we all know that in the next, let's just say we, I know we have some insurance uh, brokers on the line, I know we have some coaches on the line, and I know we have some uh, chiropractors and, and other health professionals on the line. We know without a, without a doubt that there are people in your marketplace that are ready, willing, and able to buy those services in the next week. The idea is how do you get them to come to you? If you can get those people that are already willing and able to buy what you sell and make them come to you, I mean, think about how much fun that would be. Just, just think about that. So I want you to draw that triangle right now in your note. Draw that triangle because this is extremely powerful. If you're going up, instead of spending all of your time with the unknown marketplace. What if you only tried to sell the known marketplace? That 20% that's ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell, you know that they're somewhat predisposed to buy what you're selling. They're already leaning forward. They're gonna be a good kisser. Think of the lips, just think of the lips. <laughs> and don't waste your time on the bottom. Do not waste your time on the bottom. Now I wanna show you this. This is the what I call the GCQCN formula, which is the Generate, Capture, Qualify, Convert, and Nurture. This is a Marcus, very simplistic marketing funnel, uh, and I want to say this loud and sure, please write this down. If you're not taking notes, you've got to start right now. The biggest mistake made by small business owners today is they don't capture leads. The biggest mistake made by small business owners today is they don't capture leads. Your biggest asset is your database, by far. It's not your storefront, it's not your fixtures, it's not your nice chair, and it's not the car, and it's not the house. It is your prospect database. Your client database and your prospect database is, is your biggest asset. And if you're not capturing, you really don't have much in terms of marketing assets. Now, I'll give you a little story. I started working with a restaurant uh, earlier this year, and I wasn't going to uh, take them on as a client because they wanted to do a consulting arrangement with me. Now, the consulting arrangements are not cheap. They're typically five and six figure deals. Uh, they, they require ongoing commitment. They require a percentage of sales. So, you know, to commit five or six figures up front plus a percentage of sales is, is not a, a small undertaking. And this um, restaurant was pretty much new. They're only a year in business. They had started with uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and sales were slowly declining um, and they recognized that this was an issue and that if they kept going at that pace it wouldn't be looking very good in a couple of years so they decided to reverse that they found out about me uh, and they they essentially flew me down to go meet with them and see if I can solve their problems now they were only in business for a year so I wasn't going to take them on as a client because it's, it was too new and I, and I didn't want to work with startups I wanted to work with more established businesses that had marketing assets like a database for example and what I found out is I was just about to tell them I'm sorry I'm not your best fit because you really don't have any marketing assets but when I was reviewing when I was doing my review um, I found out that they were getting between get this this is incredible they were getting over 20,000 unique customers walking through their restaurant on an annual basis. Wow. When I seen that, I got so excited and I said, you know what, your biggest problem is that you're not capturing any leads. And ever since then, I've been on a huge bender <laughs> communicating this message to everyone, as many people as like I can, because it's the truth. These people, they were not capturing leads and they had nothing essentially to show for all the hard work they had done. What I did is I put one strategy in the place, get this, I put one strategy in the place. And since putting that strategy in the place, starting in March, we have captured a database of 4,258 as of today, and we have doubled our sales. Yep, you heard that right. We have doubled the sales since putting that strategy in the place. All we did was we captured a database. Now, of course, we did so we what we did is we captured a database and we marketed effectively to that database. But instead of 
marketing to everyone. I cut their entire marketing budget. Everything. Everything they were doing except for one billboard because they're in an annual agreement and I can't cut it. I cut everything else. I cut everything they were possibly doing because I knew that if we could just capture these people, if we could just capture the traffic, the people that heard, had already experienced our phenomenal product, our great food, our great service, and we could just market to them effectively, we will not only double our sales, but we'll triple our profit because we will decrease our expenses. And that's exactly what has happened. So the biggest mistake made by small business owners today is they don't capture leads. And I'm going to go and I'm going to spend the next 10 or 15 minutes talking about how you can capture leads. Okay? Here's an example. I want to give you a, an example of, of somebody else I, I've worked with. Here's a company here. Uh, it's called Gold Achievers International. Great organization. They help small business owners and, and people as a whole go to the next level in their life by uh, providing a variety of tools like mastermind groups and, and audio lessons and so on and so forth. Great great company, international company. They have a local chapter here in Toronto uh, that I'm, I'm involved with. Now, this is really, really interesting. When we built their website, I want you to notice how many, just on this homepage, just on this homepage, there are over 10 different areas where we are capturing our audience. Because, you see, this is one of the biggest errors made, and I know Rob touched on this last week, and you know, Rob had talked to you about this all day long, and I highly encourage every one of you, beg him to give you a free consultation because he will educate you like no, no tomorrow. But when it comes to capturing website traffic, you're spending money to generate traffic to your website, okay, which is your online real estate, but you're not capturing that traffic when it gets there, which is a huge mistake if you think about it because it costs three times more to generate a new lead than to sell one that's already in your database. Think about that. That's why my tagline is double your sales and triple your profits because it's not that difficult. If you do an effective job of capturing and then you put in a good solid marketing system to sell and convert and nurture, you could, you, it's very easy to double your sales and triple your profits. Now the trick is you've got to do it. But if you look at this website, I wanted to bring this up. I want to put this slide on because I wanted to show you that on a properly designed website, we are capturing in over 10 different spots. Look at the social media, look at the Facebook, the Twitter, the LinkedIn, the YouTube, the Blogger, the email. So just there you got five different capturing spots. They can tweet the email, they can put, be notified of new posts, they can opt in for the free mastermind breakfast, they can get the free audio lessons. There's several, there's over ten different spots just on this homepage. As a result, you end up with a good capturing sequence. Now once you've captured your leads, okay, so if you, if I go back one slide, remember, Generate, capture, qualify, convert, and nurture. I'm just going to pause for a second because if you haven't written that down, you may want to. Fantastic. So if you look at generating leads, so you're generating traffic online. And, and Rob Herman at Good Dog Marketing is an expert at generating online traffic. We've invested a significant sum of money with him, Jerry Robert and I, uh, to generate traffic for us, and it's working out really, really well. Now, if you've got to capture, you've got to give them something of value. And I'm going to talk about what that is in a little later in the presentation. Here's a good example of a website with 10 different opportunities to capture. You've got to do that. Then you have to qualify, right? That's the third step. Generate, capture, qualify. Now here's one way that we qualify. This is a system I put together. It's called the Power Marketing Platform. And what it is, is it's an automated email marketing system that delivers automatically within a scheduled sequence content to your prospect in order to keep them warm. Wow, isn't that amazing? I mean, if I looked in, into all of our databases and our client, my clients' databases and everything that we do, we've probably literally this month have sent out somewhere in the range of 50 to 100,000 different emails and educating our customers, giving them good, solid, valuable, valuable information that has changed their lives. And as a result, we've gotten a lot of business out of it. Now here's an example. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They will capture their leads like this using these kinds of techniques, but then they rely on a person. They rely on a receptionist or maybe themselves to send out emails and to keep track of customers. That is one of the biggest kisses of death ever. And the reason is because the moment you get busy, that stuff starts falling by the wayside. And that's totally understandable. I mean, as a business owner, 
your your cook cleaner auto washer uh, you got to pay the bills I mean there's so much you got to do and I know there's a lot of small business owners on the line that don't have a huge team and even if you do have a huge team you should never rely if you're trying to qualify people remember write this down you want the system to deal with suspects and people to deal with prospects how do you know who's a suspect and who's a prospect very easy that 20 percent that top of the triangle that's your prospect the rest everything else is your suspect if if they have demonstrated that they are ready willing and able to buy what you sell by jumping through some hoops then they're a prospect and you should be talking to them and selling them otherwise you should let a system something like this qualify them so here's an example we're going back here let's just say that you opt in for the free eight lesson audio program that's on this website you're going to get a series of emails that over 28 days, essentially every four days, you get different emails that are delivered to you. Now these are high value emails. I mean, they look like this. They're phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and you're delivered at lesson one and lesson two and lesson three. What happens is as you take action, the more action you take, the more you're willing, you're leaning forward. Would you agree? Absolutely. So if somebody clicks on one link, okay. That's okay. If someone clicks on two links, if someone clicks on three links, if somebody clicks on all eight links, the person who's clicked on all eight audio lessons and has opened every single email is theoretically a lot warmer of a prospect or closer to being a prospect than is the person who has not opened any emails. Would you agree? Absolutely. So if you consider this and you build in a concept that's called tripwire marketing, and if you have, if you don't have the systems to do this, the systems are often not very expensive. But you need to, you need to be aware. You need to be aware of these systems. But this is how you qualify. When someone clicks on one of these emails, the client, the client, uh, the business owner gets this kind of notification. Hey guys, this person clicked on the mastermind offer in the eight lessons email. Follow up with them and invite them to the breakfast. I recommend you call them right away. And there's the I just highlighted in sort of black and white there the contact information of the client of the person who was clicking on the email. So let's look at what's happened here. We've generated a lead. We generate hundreds of leads. We've captured a certain percentage of them. We've qualified. Now we know who's qualified because this person, Jackie, has been clicking on all the emails. And as a result, the system, remember, the system deal with suspects that let people deal with prospects. So the system notifies the business owner that says, hey, this Jackie person is actually a prospect. They are interested in what you have to sell. So the, the business owner is going to call them and invite them to a mastermind breakfast where they can then sell them their offer. Okay. That's how you put in a phenomenal system, how to generate, capture, qualify, convert, and nurture. Now, the nurturing is the same as the qualifying. And all that, all you see the arrows here? I did that purposely to, to demonstrate that the nurturing is one way to uh, bring people back into your funnel. If you're continually delivering good, solid, valuable content, I, you want to put people back in. So, for example... Uh, you know, we send out, uh, I have the sequences like you've seen that last uh, hundreds and hundreds of days continually giving solid value. Uh, if you look at a blog, that's one way to keep uh, nurturing your customers, keep delivering solid value. If you have an e-zine magazine, that's one, another way. If you have events, you want to continually be delivering solid content and solid value and solving the needs and problems of your target audience. That's the real trick. So you got to figure out who are you going after, what are their needs and problems, and how can you help them solve those needs and problems. If you can do that, you got it made. Now if you have a good solid nurturing system in place, here's what happens. You get more of these. <laughs> and I, every single day, I get these fall into my inbox and into the inbox of my clients. This person, and then it would have the contact information like this, Jackie lady, this person has been clicking around and is interested in what you have to say. Give them a call and sell them. Now we, this is a this is an absolutely phenomenal system, and it, but it takes time to put these things into place. But you can put a system like this into place without breaking the bank, 
and also without taking a decade to do it. But you got to put it into place. You have to consider that the consumer mindset has changed. So you want to attract them to you. Okay? Excellent. Now I want to give you some real I want you to give you some takeaways. I want to show you how I've done it and how I use it and how our clients use this kind of system every single day. I want to give you some real samples, real examples of different ways you can attract customers to your business. Number one, you can write a special report. Seven biggest mistakes. So let's just say you're a um, let's just say you're a, a car a car salesman. I don't I don't know if there are any on the line. There are a lot of people on the line, but let's assume there's one's a car uh, a car salesman. You can write a special report that says seven questions to ask before you buy a new car. Now, anyone who downloads that report or who asks you for that report, they are at the top of the triangle. They're ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell. They're obviously leaning forward. These are just tools to get people to lean forward. Once you know who's leaning forward, you know who you got to sell. You can create a multimedia course. If you go to focus31.com, you're going to notice, uh, and, and James Burgess is a phenomenal management consultant. He'll be speaking actually next week. Focus31.com, he created a multimedia course. My business partner and I, Jerry Robert, we created uh, the Millionaire Mindset course. If you go to jerryrobert.com, Jerry with a Jerry with a G, Robert has no S. I'm French, so I had to think about that. I can hear Rob Herman laughing. He's from Montreal. Um, if uh, if you go to jerryrobert.com, you're going to see a multimedia course. We give it away for free. We've sold that course all over the world for over $700, and we now give it away for free. We have thousands of people, over 7,000 people in that course, and we, that means we have over 7,000 people leaning forward looking to buy something from us. Think about that. It's powerful. You're going to write a white paper. A white paper is typically something a little bit more... Um, no, I don't want to say scientific, but you know, a special report is something like seven questions to ask before you buy a new car. A white paper is going to be something that IBM would put out or something like that. That's the other thing. There's a lot of uh, a white label content out there that is doesn't have any copyright on it. You could you could take that. You don't even have to write this stuff yourself. You can take that copyright un, uh, uncopyrighted stuff, put it into a special report or a white paper or a book. You can write a book. And give away your book for free. What a concept. You can host an event. We host events, webinars. We host online events, uh, live events, and big seminars and big workshops. And we're probably in the next eight weeks, between webinars, workshops, live events, and big seminars, we're pro we have over a dozen events. Everybody who comes out to them is obviously interested into what we have to say, so we're attracting people to us. So we these are all all these examples are all attraction marketing devices and attraction marketing events. You can offer a home study course. You can give away a free consultation. You can give away a second opinion. This works very well in the financial industry. We've been testing this for a while. It works very very well in the financial industry. I get a second opinion. You can get give away a gift certificate. This is another phenomenal um, opportunity. Anyone who's interested in your gift certificate. Now, I, I hope none of you are thinking, but I'm going to give away so a consultation or a gift certificate. Okay, two two giveaways of your time. I hope you're not thinking, but I'm, everyone is going to ask for one of these, and they're not going to become customers. That is absolutely not true. Absolutely false. And I'd be I'm willing to go to bat on this one because I've I've given away over a quarter million dollars of gift certificates in one of the businesses I was involved in but I went from 300 customers to 3,000 in less than six months we we're in the health business and it typically takes to build a client list of 2,000 clients customers and patients it typically takes about a decade that that's the average if you talk to any chiropractor massage therapist physiotherapist so on so forth, it takes about a decade to build up 2,000 you know customers I mean, 2,000 patients is a lot of patients takes about a decade. We went from 300 to 3,000 in six months by giving away gift certificates. Did we? Did all of the gift certificates we come back? Uh, did we give away come back for a second? No, absolutely not. And that's okay. That means they were not ready, willing, really, and able to buy what I sell. But I'll tell you, when you go from 300 clients to 3,000, and you go from being the uh, just a, a regular service pro provider to the largest in your city, it makes an impact on your business. And we did it all giving away gift certificates. That's one of the strategies we use. It was phenomenal. So I don't want anyone to think, but why would I give this stuff away for free? 
because you want people to be leaning forward. I hope you're getting that. One of the things that we've done is we've designed a sponsored seminar system where we can organize a big seminar system. I'm going to talk more about that later in this slide, uh, in the next slide, probably five minutes from now. We can do a big seminar system where you get 300 to 500 leads in your business, uh, and that kind of thing will cost you $25,000 for us to do. So it's not cheap, right? And it's not for everyone. Now, my promise to you, this was my promise, remember? New ways to think about marketing, plus I was going to give you a lead generating system. Now, in the chat box, I want you to write down if this, if you've gotten some ideas so far that have changed the way you look at marketing. Write in the chat, chat box. You say, here, I'll, I'll send everyone a message. Hello, everyone. All right, so I want I want people. Did I deliver on my promise to give you new ways to think about marketing? Absolutely, the comments are coming in. That's fantastic, great. I appreciate that. Keep the comments coming. That's always great to hear. So I did deliver on my promise to get you to think about new ways of marketing. You want to attract them to you. You want to pull them towards you rather than pushing yourself onto them. You got to make them come to you. The way you do that is with an attraction marketing device. The way you design an attraction marketing device. So the question that some people may be asking themselves is, how do you design? How do I know? I'm just going back two slides. How do I know which of these ideas to implement? How do I know if a special report's good for me or a multimedia course? Well, let me answer that question. The first thing you want to do is you want to get crystal clear on your target population. Now, if your target population, for example, is business owners which is in my case, that's my target population, they're small business owners, okay, so you've got to get very clear on that. What are their, the next question you want to ask yourself, so question one is, who is your target population? Question two is, what are their needs and problems? What keeps them up at night? Well, I've, I, have, I am a small business owner, I've been a small business owner my whole life, I've never had a job, I've always been an entrepreneur, and the question going through and what's keeping business owners up at night is, how am I going to make payroll? How can I get more sales and how can I crank more profits out of this and how can I work less? That's what people want. That's what business owners want. That's what keeps them up at night, wakes them up at 3 in the morning. They've got to make payroll the next day. They're not quite sure where the money's going to come from and they're thinking, I'm working way too hard and making way too little. And I, I could see, if I was speaking in a live event, I could just see the heads nodding. So in my particular case, I would, you know, I could design a home study course. I could do an event like this webinar is an is a type of event. It's an online event, but it's an event nonetheless. I can write a white paper: how to double your sales and triple your profits. How to double your sales and double your time off in six months or less. Right? You see how the person who's interested in reading that report now, whether that's a report or a media course or a special report or an entire book or a consultation. It doesn't really matter. It's just a, the medium in which, which you want to deliver it. But you've got to look at these three things. So write these down. Who's your target population? What are their needs and problems? Meaning, what keeps them up at night? And design an attraction marketing device or an attraction marketing event to get them to come out of the woodwork and identify themselves as ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell. If you can do that, you've got to make it. Now my promise again was to deliver new ways of, to think about marketing and a lead generating system for free. So here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the next five or so, uh, probably ten minutes, to talk to you about a lead generating system that we can install in your business. It won't cost you a penny and it will generate leads for you in a very same, similar manner than which I've outlined a little while ago. Because you're probably thinking, man, if I can get that in my business. Wow, things would be different. That would be fantastic. Now, the, the system I'm about to introduce to you, it's an automatic lead generating system, and you could use it in these six different ways. You can, number one, it could be a client reactivation system, meaning clients that have dropped off, and you, you all have them. I mean, we all have clients that have, over time, have either stopped consuming our product or service, or they went to another service provider. Wouldn't it be great to reactivate those clients? Wouldn't it be great if 20% if of the clients you've lost in the last five years can come back to you? Absolutely. This system will do that. Positioning. This will position you 
as a leading expert in your industry or position you as a leading expert in your business and in your community. The more you're an expert, the more highly you're viewed, the more credible you are, the more you can ask for your product or service. This will, this will do that. Prospect reactivation, out, on average, when I ask big groups of people, what is your closing ratio, most, most people tell me 30 to 40 percent, which tells me that if, if I give you 10 prospects, you will close three or four. But my question is, what happens to the other six or seven? What happens to those people? Have you ever considered putting in a prospect reactivation campaign that will reactivate them and put them back into your sales funnel so that you can sell them this time? And you're, if, if you're only selling three or four, and most people are, and sometimes it's a lot less, sometimes one or two, one or two out of ten. If you're only selling that amount, what you've got to be thinking about is how can I reactivate those people and bring them back? The system I'm going to show you in a minute is going to give you that. Value first positioning. Everybody is concerned about value add. That was a big buzzword a couple of years ago. How can I add value and value added, meaning you add value to the sale after they've purchased. Well, I tell you, that is backwards. You should never, you should always look to add value after the sale, but you really got to focus on how do you position yourself and give value first. If you give value first, guess what? You're going to get people leaning forward. This system will do that. Value added. If you do want to give a value add, and a value add is absolutely phenomenal, because if you give value added products and services, you can ask for more for your product, ask more for your service, you can upsell, cross-sell, and gives you the opportunity to generate more revenue from the same customer. It's absolutely phenomenal. This system will do that. And the last one is this system will facilitate a referral campaign where you can uh, ask your existing customers, your existing prospects for referrals, and as a result, you're going to get increased business. You know, there's, there are 93 different referral campaigns that exist that you can put in place in your business. The question is, how many do you have right now in your business? This is the model I was just presenting, and I want to go through this model real quick. What is the primary objective? As a business owner, what I've been presenting today is how do we generate more leads? That's, that's really what business owners want. They want to know how do I generate more leads? Now, in terms of target population, if you're like me, my target population is business owners. Now, there's a lot of people on the line where their target population is business owners as well. And if your target population is business owners, then you're in luck because the system I'm about to present to you is perfect for you. What are the needs and problems of business owners? Sales, profits, and marketing. How am I going to make payroll? How do I work less? How do I squeeze more profit out of this business? And how do I bring up these sales? I was talking to a client today, and the same thing. I talked to two different clients on two different continents today, and they both said the same thing. How do we get more sales? How do we get more sales? How do we get more sales? And that's what everybody's always thinking. So I'm going to design, we've designed, Jerry, Robert, and I have designed a marketing study group that is going to serve as your attraction marketing device to generate leads for yourself. And this marketing study group is going to deliver everything that I've promised in terms of a system that's going to allow you to reactivate existing clients, position you as an industry expert, position you as a business expert in your community, reactivate your prospects, provide value first, give you a value-added tool, and provide you with a referral system like you've never seen before. Let me. So I'm going to speak a little bit about what the Marketing Study Group program is. Now, what I'm proposing here is that we partner. You and I partner. And I should say, Jerry Robert, you and I. Because Jerry Robert and I are business partners in a company called Black Card Marketing Group. We are offering this Marketing Study Group program. We're going to be selling the tickets, and I'm going to describe the program in a minute, but we're going to be selling these tickets for $2.99. So you can come to the four lesson, action-packed, four lessons, one objective, and it's going to cost $2.99. The, the program is called Stop Worrying About Generating Leads. It's the Rapid Results Marketing Study Group. It is presented and led by international best-selling author Jerry Robert. Now, for those who, are, who don't know Jerry, He's spoken to well over 3 million people. He's generated over $100 million into the bank account of himself and his partners over the last 25 years. He's internationally renowned. He's written several, several books, 
and his reputation definitely, definitely goes beyond everything he's done. He routinely brings in six and seven figure consulting arrangements and when he goes away on a weekend, not only does he bring back a boatload of customers, but also a lot of friends. Now, international best-selling author Jerry Robert will be teaching this course, which is the following. It's a rapid results marketing study group, and it has four lessons. Now, these are action-packed lessons, and they're 50 minutes each. They're not two hours. They're not three hours. They're not five hours. They're 50 minutes, and they're quick. I'm going to go through all four lessons real quick here. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to go through the lesson, but I'm just going to highlight every lesson real quick. The, the entire course has only one objective. More leads than you can handle and get others to pay for everything. Wow. Isn't that phenomenal? I mean, what business owners wouldn't want more leads than they can handle and to get others to pay for everything? This is fantastic. The details are Jerry is going to be teaching this live in Toronto. Live in Toronto, Jerry is going to be teaching it. It's every Tuesday. So the, the lessons are there are four lessons back to back and they cycle every Tuesday. It's from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., and it's a 50-minute lesson. It's going to be in our boardroom in Richmond Hill, and the cost is $2.99 and includes a phenomenal workbook with all the lessons. Right Now, our events have been sponsored with companies like these, right? huge, huge companies that have sponsored these kinds of events before because we've spoken to over 3 million people have done these events all over the world. But now you're asking, what are the lessons and what's included? Well, the first one, it's called the social media sequence. This is simple social marketing that works. There's no hype to this. One of the things we've found, and that's why we like Rob Herman so much, is because he's not about hype. But there's a lot of hype in this industry in the social media business. There are social media consultants asking for uh, six and seven figures, and they really got no idea what they're talking about. We've designed a social media sequence that is simple and based on our proprietary business development model and you see it there and we will walk you through this and relate it back to social media and how you can use social media to generate more leads than you know what to do with. That's the first lesson. The second lesson, we present our magnet method. Now this is continuous automatic leads. We're going to present this uh, system called the winner circle concept. This is something that we've designed where 80% of your business will come from only 20 different sources. This is continuous automatic leads. It's called the magnet method. It's a proprietary model we've developed over the years and we've used to generate well over a hundred million dollars in revenue so you know it works. Lesson three, the avalanche technique. Remember that sponsored seminar system I was telling you about where you can generate 300 to 500 leads in 120 days or less and it won't cost you a penny because sponsors pay for all the marketing? We will teach you step by step that course and how to do that in your business. So if you want 300 to 500 leads, come to the marketing study group because in lesson three we talk about the avalanche technique. I mean, this is a phenomenal technique. This is a sponsored seminar speakers. You're going to be able to use a professional speaker. You're going to be able to get others to pay for everything, including sending 10,000 brochures to your community. Think about what that'll do for your business. 10,000 brochures in your community. I mean, this is step by step handled by an admin person. That's how systemized this is. You could just put it into place by hiring a simple admin person if you don't have one. And you don't even need an admin person. I'm just trying to illustrate how easy this is. That's the third lesson, the avalanche technique. And the fourth one is called the magic bullet. Now, if you want credibility, authority, authority differentiation, influence, faster sale compliance and visibility, then you need this tool. It's called the magic bullet. And the magic bullet is the written word. Now you don't have to be an expert, you don't have to be a good writer, and you don't have to pay for anything. I mean, we're talking about blogging. We're talking about using the blog to generate more leads than you know what to do with. We're talking about writing articles and being a published author. We're talking about creating your own newspaper. Did you realize there's a strategy where you can have your own newspaper, publish it in your community, you're the author, you're one of the experts, you have other experts in there if you want, you can completely control the content and completely control the advertising. You can have both content and advertising for yourself, and it won't cost you a penny. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal strategy. You can write a book. A book is the ultimate, ultimate magic bullet tool. I mean, this person here, Rosita Sherry, went from generating 
just a few leads on her, on her ads on a weekly basis. She was running an ad. Her ad was costing her about $1,500, and she was generating a couple leads. I mean, you're talking about 15, 20 leads. The ad was a bit profitable, so she kept running it. But after she wrote a book, and she became a person of authority and a person of credibility and a person somebody can trust because she was an author, she went up to generating 500 leads every single week by giving away a copy of her book. Now, where do you think people picked up the book? At her practice. She's nothing but a kid's counselor. Wow, incredible. Todd Dean is someone from Calgary, Alberta. He published this book. He's a financial planner. He completely revolutionized his career and his business when he published this book, More Money Than Month. He, he using one strategy Jerry's taught him, he generated 1,200 leads in less than an hour doing a radio interview. Why did he get on radio? Because he was a published author. Dr. Anil Agarwal, we've got chiropractors, so this works in every industry. No matter what industry you're in, the written word, the magic bullet, and one of the strategies we're going to show you is how to write a book. Oh, incredible. Peter Kus Pete Kusa here, this is interesting. Doctor, your medicine is killing me. He's in network marketing. How many network marketers do you know that have this kind of book? Wow, it's incredible. John Sultan got up in a seminar and publicly announced that because of his book, his business had generated an additional $2 million that is directly attributed to the book and the publicity and everything that the book did for him. Anita Jackson was injured. This is a really funny story, actually. She, uh, she called up Jerry one day and she said, Jerry, would you come to my book launch party? And Jerry said, Anita, I will come to your book launch party if you get the Queen of England to come. Because Anita's from England. <laughs> so Anita thought Jerry was serious, so she sent the Queen a copy of her book and said, would you come to my book launch party? And Anita's also been featured all over the uh, newspapers in England. She got this letter from the Queen of England. Dear Miss Jackson, the Queen has asked me to thank you for your letter on the 18th of March, blah, blah, blah. This is about as close to an endorsement letter as you can get from the Queen of England. It is absolutely shocking. What do you think this has done for her career? funny story. There are hundreds. Jerry has published well over 250 different authors in all types of industry and all types of business and this is all related to the magic bullet system, the written word. That's the fourth lesson. Wow, isn't that incredible? So those are the four lessons that are included in the magic, in the, sorry, in the marketing study group. These are the four lessons that people are going to go through. Now how does this relate to you? Right? How does it, what is the next step? First of all, you're asking, why would I get involved in this? Well, you can use the marketing study. We're going to be selling these tickets for $2.99. And before I answer why you want to participate, I want, you, I want to answer the question that's going through your mind, which is, why are we doing this? Why is Jerry Robert and JG and Black Card Marketing Group getting us involved? Why do they want us to, why do, we want, why do they want to partner with us? Now, I'll tell you, we introduced a new system called the Missing Link Program. It's a 24-month marketing program. Uh, it's, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, it in, it's just absolutely fantastic. It's got ra radical accountability built into it. There's a data vault with over 9,000 uh, secret storage files in there. There's live events. There's uh, a software built into the whole thing. I mean, it's really critical. And it's a system whereby... Because over the last uh, 25 years, uh, we've noticed that a lot of people are setting goals, and what they're not doing is they're not taking action. And the reason is they're not doing what they need to, what they know they need to do in order to get to where they want to go, and that's a lack of accountability. Now, nobody wants to openly say, "Yes, I need more accountability," but in the end, that's what they need. And we put together this phenomenal 24-month marketing program that is absolutely going to revolutionize um, people's personal lives and people's business and everything about them because it's not about mood change it's not about just going to a seminar getting excited and then getting depressed when the visa bill comes in this is about making changes over the course of 24 months instilling new habits success habits right into your being so that you can take you and your business to the next level now we've introduced this and what we want to do is we want to work with the community i.e. you in order to introduce this to the business community where you live. We're going to be having these marketing study groups go all over the world in 2012. For now, we have, a, we have one going in Toronto. 
and we want to get you involved so we can introduce our missing link because people are going to ask how can you help me after we've taught them again remember we, we practice what we preach so after educating them in the marketing study group and showing them everything that they need to do to take their business to the next level they're going to say well how can you help me how can you take this to the next level and that'll give us the opportunity to introduce our missing link program now there's no selling in the marketing study group I want to be very clear about that the marketing study group is 50 minutes of pure content no selling at all zero no promotion no one is there to promote everyone is there to learn and that's it afterwards if they want to hear about the missing link they can stick around but during the marketing study group there's absolutely no selling but I wanted to be upfront with you on why we want to do this because it's critical we want to partner with people in the community we want to partner with business leaders in the community now the real question you should be asking yourself is why do you want to participate why should I participate and that's a great question and I'll tell you why I spoke to a group of uh, 15 business leaders earlier this week presenting this very opportunity and out of 15 14 jumped on board and when I was presenting this section about why participate I was explaining it in the following way and, and Jerry Robert is not on the line today so I'm able to say these things but do you realize what the association, the association that you can have with Jerry Robert and the way that that can impact your business? I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal. This marketing study group, by offering this to your audience, by offering this to your clients as a client reactivation, to offering this to your prospects as a way to um, value first or value add or as a way of positioning. If you go back to my original slide, and I'm just going to go back to this because these are the reasons why you want to do this and I'm just going back here. these are the reasons why you want to do this you're going to be able to use the marketing study group which we are going to sell to the public for two hundred ninety nine dollars you can use this to reactivate clients position yourself as a leader why because you're doing business and your marketing partners with international best-selling author Jerry Robert who's spoken to over three million people and generated over a hundred million dollars in revenue for himself and his partners I think that puts you at the top of the leaderboard in terms of positioning in your marketplace and in your uh, business community. You can reactivate prospects. You can offer this as a value first positioning tool. You can offer this as a value added tool. I'll give you an example. If after a customer purchases, you give them a ticket to this and you say, listen, these tickets sell for $2.99, but I'm giving you a ticket. I have, a, I have a, a batch of these tickets and I'm giving you a ticket as a thank you for doing business together. And then they go and they grow their business to the next level as a result of their, the ideas they got from the marketing study group. Imagine what that can do for you and your business. It's absolutely incredible. You can use this as a referral campaign. Let me give you another example. You can ask all of your existing customers and prospects to refer you someone. And if they do, you'll give them a special $299 gift, a ticket to the marketing study group presented by international best-selling author Jerry Robert. Anyone who uh, sends you a referral, you give the referral <laughs> a ticket to the marketing study group as a way to give value first and position yourself as a leader and expert. Think about what this can do for your business. I'm telling you, this can be the silver bullet you've been waiting for in your business in order to generate leads, capture leads, properly qualify them, and take them to the next level. That's why you want to participate. I just want to summarize in a nutshell real quick. We're going to host a four lesson study group, the marketing study group. There's four lessons and one objective. More leads than you know what to do with, more leads than you can handle, and get other people to pay for everything. Wow, powerful. The four lessons are number one, the social media sequence. Number two, the magnet method. Number three, the avalanche technique. Number four, the magic bullet. These are the four lessons. Now, Jerry is going to teach these lessons personally. He's not going to be able to do this forever because it's going to grow out of control. But he's going to start by teaching these lessons personally. He's going to edify you, the person who gave away uh, this ticket, the person who has p positioned themselves as an expert and leader in the community. He's going to edify you and position you as an expert. Now, what I'm suggesting is these tickets are going to sell for $2.99, but I'd like you to buy a package of five tickets for a dollar. <laughs> and I'm not too concerned about the dollar. The point is, is that we want you to be a marketing partner with us in promoting the marketing study group so you can position yourself as an expert in the community and bring 
all of the marketing funnel, everything I've presented today, you can achieve this using the marketing study group concept. This is an automatic lead generation system. And I'm done. I got one more slide and I'm done here. There are conditions. You have to agree. You have to agree to no promotion. And what I mean by that is during the marketing study group, there is no promotion. There is absolutely no selling. This is absolutely paramount because our reputation is on the line and your reputation is on the line. It is all content, no teaching. That's the condition. If you like what you hear, we also want a te video testimonial from you. Of course, you're going to love what you hear. And the other condition is I want you to follow up relentlessly. The way you're going to convert leads, because after you bring them to the marketing study group, you will be positioned as an expert. You'll be positioned as a leader in your community. You'll be positioned as an industry leader. But unless you follow up and communicate your value proposition to your customer, your prospective customer, you won't make any sales. So I want you to follow up relentlessly, and I will show you how to do this. Now, you're going to use these study groups to generate leads and much, much more. So if you're interested to get involved in this automatic lead generating system and become a marketing partner with myself and Jerry Roberts, international best-selling author Jerry Roberts, I want you to send me an email. There's my email address. I want you to send me an email with your name, your phone number, and your address, and I will send you follow-up training on how to put this into place. Because I've went over, it's about it's been actually exactly an hour that I've been speaking for. So I want to thank you for your time. I've covered some great things today, and I've given you a free lead, lead generating system. Now I'm telling you that in the future we're going to sell this system, and it's going to cost over two thousand dollars. That's for sure, because the value is incredible. But you can get it for free, and there's no catch. I've given you the conditions. The conditions are that you follow up relentlessly that you, there are absolutely no promotion, it's all learning during the session. you got to follow up relentlessly, which I will show you how to do, and you give us a video testimonial. If you do those three things, you can get this for free. Just send me your name, your phone number, and your address at the following email address, jgf at blackcardmarketinggroup.com. And also, please keep that, keep that address to yourself uh, as private as possible. I already get to it. I get a lot of emails on a daily basis if it would get out. This is my personal address. My system doesn't check that one. It's mine. Uh, so you want to make sure that you use that uh, cautiously. Uh, send me your name, your phone number, and your address, and I will send you follow-up training in terms of how to get this going, how to implement the automatic lead generator in your business so you can generate more leads than you know what to do with and get others to pay for everything. This is JG, the author of Messy Manager. I want to thank you for your time. Send me that email right away, and we look forward to doing business with you real soon.